Hey, hello everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Continuing StarCraft II, playing Wings of Liberty. Let's go to Redstone. I hear the mighty Jim Rayner's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable minerals around. And with the Zerg invasion, the Kilmorians backed up and left it all behind. Some enterprising men could turn a big profit there. Meet me at Redstone if you want a piece of the action. Okay, let's prepare for some lava activities. Redstone. Heck of a place. I ever mention how much I hate volcanic planets? Good to see you made it. They call me Tash. You help me mine the minerals I need, and I'll make it worth your while. What's the catch? Well, this place is a little unstable. The low ground gets flooded with lava every few minutes. Of course, that's where the richest mineral nodes are found. But that'll be no problem for a big, tough guy like you. Sir, I'm also picking up Zerg biosignatures on the surface. We'll need to spend some of what we mine just to defend the operation. The more we spend, the longer this is going to take. Uh, lava and Zerg. Two of my favorite things. Let's do this. So we're looking to find all of Tasha's guys. The Reapers are all over the place. But you can play this mission efficiently by killing Zerg and exploring. So we'll definitely find all of them naturally. And then killing the Brutalisk with lava is surprisingly challenging. The lava is not actually an instant killer like it might seem. It's actually damage over time. But all of your units have such low Good HP job. that... It may just it may just seem like it instant kills, but the brutalist will take time, so you actually want to whittle away its health before you try to lure it down there. So some people don't know that, which is why it might seem like killing it with lava is way harder than it is, and also understanding the best place to leash it. Add on complete. We can let these guys mine for a more round. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. Lava's rising. Get those SCVs to high ground. Right now. Ah, you scared me! What's okay. And we only need one geyser just to get started here, nothing crazy. And most attacks come from this ramp, so that's why I'm just going to build up over here first. We just need to load up some marines, I'll put another supply depot there so that we can minimize surface area for zerglings to get around it, just like we've been doing. Pretty effective for your bunkers. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. And once our reapers show up, we can use them to go and start collecting resources. They're all over the place on all these high grounds. And then they also will start whittling away at the Brutalist. We'll probably go and find another group and our second command center. But because most of our resources will come from destroying the Zerg, I'm way less concerned with moving command centers around and harvesting. We'll do it a couple times, but it's not a big deal. It's mostly just to save time. Let's grab an engineering bay and we can grab our plus one stuff. I got some friends coming to help you out. Reapers. Reapers, you say? Hell, cowboy, we gotta train more of these guys. They're seriously badass. What? Badass, that's what he says. Okay, so let's start moving here. We got our defenses set up. We're building more stuff. Let's try not to lose anything to these initial pre-placed areas of Zerg. Okay, almost. But I also built some medics pretty early, so we can get these guys healed up. We'll collect some resources. And just make sure that we keep queuing up marines. Some of my disappeared in this area. Want to see if they're still alive. Tosh sent you to help? About time. Let's finish up this contract and get the hell off this planet. Who wants some? Okay, so these guys are getting healed up. We're going to come over here. We can collect some more resources. And let's go and start whittling away the Brutalisk. It's going to be challenging to kill it and not lose any Reapers. We'll try our best. Again, it's just about timing. I think the lava's gonna raise around five minutes. Uh, sir, sir, uh, scanners show a large biosignature close to your position. A brutalist, I think. You could kill it. That'd get my, uh, our research off to a flying start. So, you want to stop move with the Reapers, and we'll be able to do a lot of damage to it as it chases us here. And you'll see, it does not spend a lot of time on the low ground, which is why this is pretty tough to do. But let's do as much as we can here. Just a reminder, sir. The more minerals we expend on forces, the longer it's going to take to reach our goal. Try to be economical. Done. Yes, indeed. Fair enough. 
Okay. Decent. I think two rounds of this is pretty good. And then we can wait for the lava to start rising. If the lava starts around five minutes, we can wait about 15 seconds then be, and then be able to finish it up. So that should be good for now. Let's get a lot of medics. SCVs got off the low ground. We have those queued up. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Okay, this should be... Oh, this will hopefully work. I think this timing will work. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. All right, let's get up there. Nice, okay. That worked out very, very well. We didn't lose any Reapers. We could pick up the rest of this stuff, and then we're going to continue making stuff at home. Probably call down our mercenaries here. Yes, indeed. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Okay, let's grab another depot, because I would like to get hammer securities for sure. And, yeah, can't quite get hammer securities. We got a nice group here, though. I think what I'll do is start sending these guys across the map and then separately send our Reapers. So, you find Reapers that jump down like idiots down to the low ground. We want to just pull them back up to the high ground as soon as possible so that they don't get trapped down here. And we can do a bunch of damage like this. And then we can jump them down. Our single bunker is doing fine. Meanwhile, I got this group separately. Let's hop up here. And then we're going to try to just link these groups up. We've got the Reapers down here, and then we've got just a, a group, a separate group attacking. And then we'll just make more and more Marines. We do need a little bit of anti-air. Let's just move Hammer Securities up there. Okay, pretty decent. Let's go for... Spine crawler. Sit you do it right by me. I'll do right by you. He is the coordinates of the nearest Kinda nervous of Bane Links. That's the only thing we gotta be on the lookout for as usual. Okay, we can land this now. And start harvesting from the low ground. We just have to remember to pull these guys out. Okay, how's this going? Looks like it's okay. Let's go ahead and get our Reapers up here. I don't think there's a group up here, but just more minerals. Yep. So now this, now these two can link up, and you all just keep attacking. And if we push into this side, the Zerg will have nowhere to continue to attack us from. And we're, we're linked up. And these Reapers do huge amounts of damage. Which is just absolutely fantastic. And we can just pull off a few more SCVs to keep repairing. Okay, look out hammer securities. I thought maybe we lost the other one. We didn't, though. Okay, let's finish this stuff off quickly. Okay, and we're just going to pick up as many resources as possible just to make this go really fast. Again, as you can see, we're already about halfway there, and we've just been playing for nine minutes. More Reapers. Okay, and we're supply blocked, and I'm fine not building anything else. Okay, let's load up here. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Okay, yeah, let's try not to lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. Let's just try not to lose anything to lava. I think we're pretty good on that front so far. Except the brutalisk, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, nothing up there. We may need a few more marines. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. This better be good. Eh, it's probably fine. Let's head on up in this direction. Sure thing. Bring the extra marines that we've got. So there's one more Zerg base, and as long as we have units by it, then they can't get to us. They can't attack us anymore. So let's land here. These guys don't need to be harvesting gas anymore. Let's land here. And I, I don't even need to necessarily be worrying about this right now, like harvesting from these locations, but I'm doing it just so that this ends a little bit faster. Okay, let's attack in this direction. That might have been the next Zerg attack coming to us, hard to say. And we'll get even more resources from this hatchery. There's a feat of strength to destroy all the Zerg buildings on this map, and it's not even particularly challenging, so it's always confused me on why that is that way. There were a few campaign feats of 
feats of strength be again in in uh, Wings of Liberty, but I I don't know. They they don't exist anymore. I don't fully understand them. There's one Broodlord in this base. That's what we need our uh, our Marines for. So we got to focus on keeping them alive, sort of. We don't have to focus on it, but we're gonna try. Almost done, Mr. Rena. Just a few more minerals to go. Okay, looks good. And then why don't you all start harvesting here? And we'll probably get enough pickups just from this this base, if I had to guess. Okay, there is the Broodlord. So let's stim and just try to kill it. Oop, there's Banelings now. There we go. And I think I think that's it. We're, we're done with this map, basically. Our mercenaries really helped out. Plus, we have a boatload of Reapers. We got Harvesters down here, and we'll just try not to lose any thing to lava. There might be another one more lava rise. We lost our devil dogs. Oh no. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, we did it. And you know, just because we can say we did the feat of strength, we can destroy all the Zerg buildings. I don't know if you have to destroy all the buildings or just or all the units. I'm not sure. There we go. We did it though. All right, boys. Nice work. We got what we came for. Now let's get out of this hellhole. Finished already. Really are as good as they say, Mr. Rena. I'm thinking you and I got a lot more business we can be talking about. Nice, all those Marines and Medics made it out too at the end. Kill the Brutalist with lava, we definitely did. We did locate all of Tasha's crew, 26 out of 26. We didn't lose any Reapers. We didn't have any Reaper casualties when we were killing the Brutalist either. Overall, pretty good, only 9 units lost as well. Let's go back to the Hyperion. Now, I don't plan on doing every single achievement. We've just happened to do it up until this point. But some of them just make no sense. They just don't really fit contextually. They're just arbitrary, so we won't necessarily do all of them. Nice work, sir. The payoff from Redstone really got us back on our feet. Why is that Tosh guy aboard? He wanted to talk to you in person, sir. Something about conducting more business ventures together. You do any digging on him? Of course. And he's no pirate. Rumor has it he's a renegade ghost, and until he vanished, he was one of the Dominion's top assassins. Now Manx hates him almost as much as he hates you. Well, I like this guy already. Just the same, we best keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. You know, he asked nicely, so we just let him into the most critical part of the ship. All right, let's start with the news. Donny Vermillion, UNN, your first, last, and only stop for the truth. Tonight, our own Kate Lockwell uncovers a secret shadow war waged by our brave Dominion ghosts against a ruthless hidden enemy. Thanks, Donny. I'm talking live with a specialist in the Dominion. I understand that you and your comrades have been against a group of... What can you tell us about that? Well, Kate, I'm not allowed to say much. But I can tell you that his allies will not. We expect them very soon. I think we'll all sleep a little better tonight, knowing our Dominion forces are watching over us. For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. I really like the news segments. I think they did a really good job with them. They're pretty funny. You ever heard of a guy named Gabriel Tosh? Only rumors. Way I hear it. He was mixed up in some covert branch of the ghost program that produced some real scary badasses. Word was, Tosh snapped and went rogue. I'd play it real cool with that kind. He'd cut your throat soon as look at you. I've dealt with rogue ghosts before. It's the one still working for Manx I got a problem with. Okay, no new mercenaries. No mercenary reapers, unfortunately. See if Dr. Hansen has anything to say. She does. Just out of curiosity, I did some tests on the minerals from Redstone. I thought you should know I found trace quantities of Jorium, a rare crystal with very unique properties. I'm all ears, Doc. What kind of properties? Jorium resonates at the same frequency as certain brain waves. It's been theorized that it could be used to stimulate brain activity or even produce psionic abilities in human subjects. What the hell does Tosh want that for? Uh, yes. You have a question, sir? I don't. Let's go to the armory. Now we got pirates on the ship. Could 
Jinsky. Better take an inventory. So do, what do we want to spend our money on here? I think I'm going to go to Tarsonis next, so I don't really need anything. Anything that's available, I don't really need. How much money? So 110,000. Let's grab incinerator gauntlets. It's really good. It basically makes your fire bats into mobile perdition turrets. It's insane. Let's grab that. It's relatively cheap. We have just enough then for concussive grenades. Concussive shells, rather. So let's pick that up. We're definitely going to want to grab U-238 shells before we get to Meinhof. So I think we'll go to Tarsonis next. Then we can use the money from there to get U-238 rounds to go to Meinhof. U-238 rounds was an upgrade for StarCraft 1 for Marine range, which is interesting because it gives the plus one range to Reapers here, which is pretty neat. And then we will get Juggernaut plating and Kinetic Foam eventually. All of these upgrades are good. Uh, at least the, the Firebat Marauder ones. We don't need any other ones for Reapers. And the, uh, the advanced medic facilities is completely unnecessary. It's just a waste of money, in my opinion. Eventually, you'll either get tech reactors, and even if you don't, it's just not, it's just not that necessary at all, rather than just spending 150 extra minerals for another barracks. Okay, so that's that. Let's go to the bridge. We can talk to Charlie. You might want to talk to our new guest. Maybe ask him to leave my bridge. Sassy. Ah, he is the man. We make a good team, me and you. Why are you here, Tosh? Our business is done unless you got something else for me. Yeah, I got another job for us on a world called Belshia. Interested? Maybe. What's in it for me? Piracy ain't exactly my chosen path. Everyone knows Jim Rayner wants to put the hurt on Megs. I can help you with that. I can help you big time. I'll think about it. For the time being, welcome aboard the Hyperion. We'll talk later. He can help us big time, folks. Big time. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.